Things keep going. More gas, more gas. Don't slow down. Don't slow down. That's the fastest you've driven, isn't it? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another driving lesson with Rajan. And for those of you that don't know, we're filming every single one of Rajan's driving lessons up until the day he goes for his driving test. And uh, yeah, we upload each week so you guys can hopefully watch and learn. So um, last lesson, what do we do? Uh, we're doing crossroads. Yeah, crossroads. Uh, we mainly focus on the right turns, didn't we? Yeah, it was, a f it was yeah. your first time um, on the uh, crossroads. And how did that go? Uh, it went decent. I just wasn't really happy with the positioning. Yeah, um, that was the only thing that we found. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, you were giving them a go yourself, but then it just that positioning part. So what was wrong with the positioning? I'd be like, really, I wasn't getting to best angle, and I'd be like, sort of too far away to it, or go, carry on basically too straight and not turning right in time. That's it. And what are the risks of doing that? Uh, I can stop the oncoming traffic from like going towards us, and then they could hit us or something. Not if your position's too far this way. Yeah, you won't go. Oh no, the I mean the side. Is it the? Would it be the people on the side that wouldn't be able to pass? Uh, not really, because you still like position, but you haven't like you still have the uh, way of the people. Uh, because the, you know the uh, crossroads we we're doing, we had like two lanes there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there was a left lane for people continuing straight here. But I know what you're saying. If there was a single lane, that could be a risk as well. Yeah. yeah. But the main risk is, you know, if you don't position, you you won't be able to see the oncoming. Oh yeah. Points. Yeah, your view is going to be quite restricted. Yeah. Okay, so it's really important to get that position, yeah. Do you know how to get the position? Yeah. Yeah, would you need any help on that? Uh, no, nah, not really. Cool. So, um, obviously, we want to try and improve on that that today as well, yeah? Okay, yeah. And but the other thing that we agreed that we were going to move on to today? Was dual carriageways. Dual carriageways, yeah. So, um, you okay to continue with that still, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So, um, guys, um, Rajan is using the ultimate driving course. So, um, he has watched the videos um, on dual carriageways. And hopefully, he's got the knowledge now. Yeah, so let's uh, let's see what, what, what did you learn about um, dual carriageways from the course? Yeah, so dual carriageways are two lanes next to one another, and um, they can be split by like a central reservation, which can be uh, made up of like grass or barrier. And like the speed limit can be up to 70 miles per hour, so you got to be careful. And really, you want to stay in the left lane unless you're overtaking or turning right. Good, yeah, and um. Also, when you come in on or off, they're called, is it slip lanes or slip roads? Yeah, road? slip roads, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're called that. And you also got to be like careful and wary and be at a good speed limit. Otherwise, you're going to slow like down the traffic. That's it, good. Other cars. Yeah, yeah, obviously that shows you have um, watched uh, the videos, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, dual carriageways, the speeds are higher, so much higher risk. You have to react a lot earlier as well. Yeah, yeah. notice what's going on because you're at that stage you're driving now where when you check your mirrors now you've got to really assess what's going on not just checking like you know when you first start with you check it because obviously we tell you to check them yeah, yeah. and now you've got, really got to look and assess what's happening here because say if um, you're in the left hand lane and you slightly position into the right hand lane accidentally and yeah. there's someone about to overtake you what's going to happen they're going to end up hitting us that's it yeah. yeah, and there's a lot of risk involved in changing lanes as well. You gotta make sure you assess yeah. the the traffic behind. Yeah, there's a method which was mirror signal, look and assess and maneuver. That's it. Yeah. If you're not yeah. sure, obviously don't do. It. Yeah. But to start off with, I'm gonna fully talk you through that part. Yeah, and help you. Yeah. yeah. So by the end of today's lesson, you should know how to deal with dual carriageways. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. Just um, be obviously. Um, I would say uh, I can't really say more confident because you haven't done them before. Yeah, so like I said, just know how to deal with dual carriageways and know what to do when you're on a dual carriageway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, when we go into dual carriageway, as when we start off, I'll fully uh, help you out with it, yeah? Okay, yeah. just talk you through stuff on there, okay? About what's going on around you and um, your speed and staying in your lane. Um, cr we are going to come to some crossroads as well, yeah, which you said you're going to give a go yourself, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and... Any any crossroad traffic light con uh, control crossroad, which we're turning right at, try and focus on that positioning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, anywhere else where you're gonna need my help? No, not really. Cool. So um, yeah, so it's um, basically you're gonna take responsibility of everything else apart from when we're on the dual carriageway. Yeah. You're yeah. in charge of the controls. If I do have to go for the controls on my side or the steering, I'll let you know why why I had to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool then, so whenever you're ready, if you could uh, move off for me, please.
at the end of the road if you could turn left please So one thing we forgot to go through um, was you're gonna need higher gears as well, yeah. Yeah. The highest gear you've been in is third at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So fourth is just straight down, yeah. Pretty yeah. straightforward. So turn left. So here now, if you put into third gear for me. Third, third, that's fourth. I can put it into first now, the lights are going to change. Yeah, so you, you put it into fourth when it's actually put it into third, yeah. yeah. Okay, so fourth is straight down, okay? Yeah. So what's this lane on the left for? Uh, bikes. That's it, good. It's going to split up into two lanes. Yeah, are we going straight? That's it, yeah. yeah. So you've got a choice of two lanes. Keep going. More gas, more gas. Don't slow down. Don't slow down. We're going continuing straight ahead. Yeah, keep to the left lane. Okay. That's it. So look, this is the dual carriageway now. Yeah. yeah a bit more speed. It speed's 40 now, yeah? A bit more gas. That's it. Going a bit more gas and fourth gear straight down. Check your centre mirror and right mirror. As you can see there's no one directly behind us here. Yeah? Okay, yeah. or overtaking. So if we need you to change lanes, we know it's safe to do so, yeah? yeah? Okay, there could be a hazard in the road, there could be somebody broken down. So we've got a plan early on, yeah? Yeah. That's a good position you're keeping there. Well then. As you're slowing down, remember which mirrors. Good. So we're gonna anticipate these lights changing, yeah. Continue at this speed. Yeah, yeah, doesn't mean we're going to slow down too much because, okay, now stop braking. That's it. So when you're approaching traffic lights, yeah, and they are on green. Yeah. Okay, remember, always anticipate that they could change, yeah. Okay, so before you get there, you've got to decide. Like, if we were too, if we were too close and too fast there, it would have continued. Yeah. But we, we, we could stop safely, yeah. Okay. So now, as we move off, you can see there's okay. So there's a car behind us. Is it keeping a safe gap? So well, not really. You could try and overtake. Yeah. yeah. That's a good build up of speed. And which gear now? Okay. That's it. And a bit more gas, because it's nice and clear ahead. Yeah, let's, it's safe to re, uh, do 40 miles an hour. Yeah, what the speed limit is, but stay in your lane. Yeah. That's it. That's good. That's a good speed now. Is it? So check your centre and right mirror. Ease off the gas a little bit, just in case that vehicle decides to pull, pull out. Yeah. And traffic lights ahead. Well done. Check your centre mirror. Good. Brake a bit more. And because we're driving at a faster speed, you need to brake a bit sooner as well, yeah? Yeah. Which gear now, you think? Gear two. Excellent, well done. I'll pull it back. No, that's two, that's oh. fine, that's fine. I'll pull it back and and gear four. Check your centre and right mirror. Well done. That's a really good build up. And a good gear change without my help. Is that a bit too early then? No, that was fine. Again, there's traffic lights ahead, yeah. These yeah. could change, yeah. This is a pedestrian crossing, actually, yeah. So no one's pressed the button, so these aren't going to change. Okay. So there's a central reservation we were talking about in the middle, split yeah. in the two sides, yeah. So we've got two lanes for us and two lanes for the oncoming vehicles. Again, these lights could change at your centre mirror. Stay in the lane. We're going to continue straight ahead. That's it. Carry on, even if the lights change, you know, we're too close. Yeah, keep to the left a bit. I see, yeah, we're drifting over there. Yeah, see, uh, there was that area where it wasn't marked up, yeah, but use that curb. 
Okay? Yeah. You don't want to be drifting over to that side. We're going to continue straight ahead. Yeah, this is going to split up into three lanes now. Don't okay. go into these markings. Stay in the same. Yeah, stay in this middle lane. Yeah. The markings are quite faint here. Yeah, the left lane is marked for left only. Well done. That's a good gap from the vehicle in front. Which gear? K1. That's it. Check your side mirrors for me. And what are we looking out for? Uh, other cars overtaken. Yeah, and cyclists as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And keep to the left. Yeah, I'll keep drifting. Yeah. And what if what would happen if his lorry was overtaking you? Then there it is. That's it. Remember how to keep the normal driving position? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean, sir? Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit, yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is gonna, we're going to be turning right at the traffic light, yeah? So yeah. check your centre mirror right, mirror signal right. A bit more acceleration, don't slow down and move over. Don't slow down too much. I see we're turning right at those lights, yeah? yeah. So check your centre mirror right, mirror again and move over to the right. Well done. And which gear? Gear one. Good. So on a slight hill now, yeah? You want to avoid rolling back? Yeah. So what do you do? Clutch control. Yeah, no, you should use the hammer. You just roll oh. back a little bit there, yeah? Okay. Yeah. So we can continue here. So see, this is a, um, a crossroad, yeah? But did you see the green filter arrow pointing to the right? Yeah. Yeah, and we were turning right. So if there's a green arrow pointing into the direction that you want to go, that means you can continue. Yeah, you have priority. Yeah. The oncoming, uh, the oncoming, the life of the oncoming vehicles is um, red. Okay, we're going to be turning right. Where should the clutch be? Position to the right as well. Back off. Off, 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 all the way. Yeah, I kept it down. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left. Stop there, stop, stop, Did we go on the curb? No, oh. not at all, it was a drain. But again, uh, why did I ask you to stop? You were st uh, still creeping forward. Curb. Yeah. It goes flat. Uh, and what would happen if these guys wanted to come out in an emergency? We'd be blocking them. Yeah, how do you think it'd make them feel? Not very happy. Yeah, so do you need any help with this part? No. Okay. Right, how do you think the dual carriageways have gone so far? I think it went decent, yeah. It's just my position and I kept going too much towards the right. Yeah, so I am... Um, I asked you, um, how do you keep your normal position? We went through the risks involved. You told me what was uh, the dangers and that, yeah. Yeah. But then, how do you keep your normal position? So, you know when you drive normally? Yeah. You're on a normal road, not on a dual carriageway, yeah. On a road like this. How do you know your, like, what, firstly, what should your distance from the curb be? Uh, a metre. Yeah, and how do you normally judge that distance? Oh, with my reference point. That's it. Could oh, you use okay. the same reference point there? Yeah. Good. Also, use the side mirrors. Yeah, to yeah. check. Not just for cars, you can like assess your positioning in there. Okay, how far you are from the lines. Yeah. Uh, from the, the lines, obviously, the line on your right hand side and the cam on your left, yeah. Okay. Um, and this right turn. And so, one, the clutch was down. Yeah, why is that not good? Any idea? Because uh, you usually use it for slowing down. Is, is it called coasting as well? Yeah, it's called coasting, yeah. So basically there's, there's no engine brake in there, yeah. There's no control of the engine there. Yeah. Yeah, to the wheels. Um, so what you need to do is you've got to make sure the clutch is up just like you do on your normal turns. Yeah. Okay. And then there's an area in the middle, box in the middle, yeah. What's that for, do you know? Uh, for us turning right. Yeah, for you to position in there. So if you did have to stop for the oncoming cars. Yeah. Yeah. How would that benefit vehicles behind us if you had to position in there? They can carry on forward. That's it. But if you don't position in there and you have to stop for the oncoming cars, what would happen? Then we're going to start causing that traffic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, be careful of that. And um, when I should change lanes, there was a white car coming in the distance. Yeah. Yeah. Which we didn't really affect at all. Yeah. But um, again, you know when people do um, uh, well, learners do dual carriageways for the first time and they do a lane change like that. Yeah. That's their natural reaction to start slowing down. Yeah. Because. Like so far in your driving, whenever we've done any left or right turns, after your mirrors and signals, we always, mirrors and signals, we've always gone for the brake, having to slow down, yeah. Yeah. But you know when you're changing lanes on the dual, dual carriageway, unless your turn is quite close, yeah. 
Okay, um, so you know when you're on a dual carry journey, I should turn right. There's two stages. One is changing your lane. Yeah. Lead it, and then the 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 second part is obviously getting ready for the turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you did your mirrors and signal, then you start easing off the gas a bit. Okay. Yeah. And so if you're, uh, do you know what kind of risk is the risk that's going to cause before I start explaining? Yeah. Is it because the car behind us we're going to end up reducing his speed as well? Yeah, that as well. Good. And he can't see us slowing down because there's no brake light. Yeah, but even if you did start braking, yeah. Okay, there's no need to disrupt disrupt the flow of traffic. Yeah, yeah, unless there's traffic building up ahead, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's one thing. And the other thing, yeah, you're gonna make it harder for yourself. If it, like, you know how that white car was um, approaching in the right-hand lane. Yeah, if you had slowed down, yeah, and obviously that white car isn't slowing down. Yeah, if you start slowing down too much, that white car is gonna catch up, and you ain't gonna have a safe gap to get into. Yeah. So if you're at the same speed. Yeah, doing what you're doing, you're doing about 36, 35, yeah, yeah, which is okay at that point anyway, yeah, okay, and if you maintain that speed, it's going to be easier for you to get into a gap. Yeah. You understand that, yeah? Good. Right then, so, um, let's, uh, um, do some more. Okay, any questions? Yeah. Nah, it's just, I mean, I know where, where, I know where I went wrong and I know where I need to improve on it. Good. Sh it. Shall I keep talking you through like this or shall I ask you, just, just ask you questions? Uh, probably more so questions because to be honest I don't think it's that complicated it's just straight 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 it's just with the lane changing yeah yeah it's just a natural instinct think I'll slow down I don't want to because yeah. I'm going a certain speed I don't want to turn too much like right at the same time cool okay that makes sense yeah we'll do some more lane changes as well okay okay yeah and we're gonna do um uh, see this crossroad that, that we did at the traffic lights that was quite easy because they were, you didn't have to really position for the oncoming vehicles, did you? Yeah. Yeah, because I like to agree. Yeah. Mm. But uh, let me take you to a crossroad so we can sort out that positioning as well, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to just ask you loads of questions, really. Yeah, on the dual carriage ways, rather than telling you do this, do that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, obviously, with the lane change, if we're in a difficult situation with cars behind us, then I'll, I'll, I'll come in and help you out a bit more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Move off when you're ready. speed and a really good distance from the park vehicles yeah yeah quite close yeah and yeah. He, he can overtake it and that's why but that's why you're checking your mirrors for yeah that's really good that's why you like see the thing is you knew he's behind you and you you're already anticipating what he could do yeah, yeah that's what it's all about that's what you got to continue doing in your driving yeah and that was good as well coming off the accelerator Should be. Where should the clutch be? Should be back up. All the way up. So we're just keeping that down after the gear change. Yeah, I keep yeah. doing that. It's just a bad habit. So this is a dual carriage. You know what the speed limit is here? Yeah, four. So remember the positioning? Yeah. Good. Anybody behind you? 
Yeah, but uh, quite far back. That's it, good. What's the risk ahead? The guy. After the guy? The traffic light. That's it, good. So which mirrors? Centre. That's it. That's nice, easy braking, good. Try and maintain this position now, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Try and look out for your reference point as well that you mentioned earlier. Rumble which mirrors. So after we pass these lights, does it seem like there's any hazards ahead? Um nah. So build up your speed, come on. Only at 30. Keep your position as well. Come on, keep that position. More gas. On which gear now? Give. Come on, let's let's reach 40. I want to see 40 on that screen. Just because it's clear ahead. That's it. Just keeping up with the traffic. Perfect. Yeah. Is anybody trying to overtake you now? No. That's it. Because we're maintaining the correct speed. Now, what should you be doing by now? Braking. That's it. Now you've got to start that braking nice and nearly. Yeah. That's the fastest you've ever driven, isn't it? Yeah. Select a gear, which gear you're in neutral at the moment. That's it, good. Well done, good build up. Okay, we're going up to some uh, traffic lights soon. At the traffic lights, I'd like you to turn right. Okay. Don't brake, don't brake. This guy's closer. Don't brake. Why are we braking? So first thing we need to do, we're turning right, yeah. yeah. Mirrors and signal. Keep to the keep to the left lane, keep to the left lane. Okay. Yeah, signal though, signal. And now check is it safe? Yeah. yeah. Now move over. Good. We're turning right to these lights. So this oh. is all yours now, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, lucky there, nice yeah. and clear again, so we didn't have to stop again. <laughs> well, the steering was good, but obviously, I want to be in a situation where we can stop so we can sort of that position here. Yeah. yeah, okay. But you see what we're doing at that lane change? Yeah, yeah. I've been asked you to turn right, yeah. Look, he's off the gas a bit now. That's it. Okay, I want you to take the second turning on the left. This is the first one. Second one, just stay after these cars. Let's see if you can do this correctly. Okay. How do you feel that was? It was okay. Better with the clutch? Yeah. yeah. What do you think you could have done with the speed? Could have slowed down more. Yeah, you did it right on the turn. Yeah. Yeah, you slow, you, you had to brake as you were turning, as you turned into the road. Yeah. Get yeah. that sorted beforehand. Assess the turn, you should have thought, okay, that's a tight, narrow turn. So just a uh, lane change, yeah? yeah? So when I ask you to turn right, yeah? Remember that your first aim is to get into that lane safely, yeah? yeah. And you start just drifting over to that side, mm. okay? Remember, you've got to warn people first that you're, you're attempting to get into that lane. How do you warn them? Signal. Signal, yeah? And then after you've signaled, only then you can start to move over if it's safe. Turn left, sorry. And the other thing, yeah, you know when you are, uh, say you're driving in the left-hand lane, yeah, and ask you to turn right, and you want yeah. to change your lanes. Always stay in the centre of your lane, don't start like, so you know on these kind of roads, on the normal roads, when we're turning right, what do we do? We get close to... Uh, the right yeah, corner. Yeah, the centre white line, don't we, yeah, when yeah. we're turning right. But when you're on a dual carriageway, and you want to change from the left lane to the right lane, you stay in the centre of your lane until you're going to change, yeah. okay? Turn left at the lights. Which gear? Gear 2. Good. Basically, the well then. Good. Don't worry, that wasn't at you. That's that mm. person who had noticed the lights had changed. 
by the way, if that was on a driving test, would that be a serious fault or a minor, minor fault, Dion? Serious? Yeah. Not noticing the lights are changing, just waiting there. We're going to continue straight ahead. So look, here we've got a choice of two lanes, yeah? Yeah. yeah? You know if you use the middle lane, yeah? Just keep going, don't break, don't break, keep going. Just keep to the left lane, yeah? So if you use the middle lane, yeah, which lane are you going to end up in? In the right one. That's it. And then you'll have to move back over to the left, yeah? Because what's that right hand lane for? I'm um, also overtaken. Yeah, and? And if we're turning right. That's it, good. What's the speed limit here? 40. That's a good position as well. You're enjoying this speed, yeah? Yeah. But lights are ready, so what should you have done? Start breaking. That's it. We're carrying on straight. Yep. Yeah. So are you finding dual carry joys? Uh, good man. St okay, stop, stop, stop. Where are you supposed to stop? Carry on now. Where are you supposed to stop? Behind the white line. Yeah. Okay, just behind it, yeah. Okay, yeah. your front tire is just about to go over it there, yeah? Yeah. And what's the risk of that? Um, like pedestrians if they cross it. Yeah, you can block their path. Right, get into the right-hand lane when it's safe. Again, see how it's slowing down a bit? Yeah. Yeah, don't slow down. Yeah, maintain still, it. Still keep my yeah. foot on the accelerator. Yeah, can yeah. see your signal. Because what's the speed limit here? We're only at 30. And when it's safe, if you could... Like look at the situation now, yeah. I want you to get back into the left lane when it's safe. Don't signal yet. That's it. Now do it. Why did I actually not to signal earlier? Because the car could have pulled up. That's it. They could have thought you're turning into that junction. Yeah, oh, that yeah. could be confusing for them. Can't see a signal now, though. So I'm going to make you do this a little bit on this dual carriage way, yeah, changing lanes. Yeah. Good. So it's all yours now, I'm going to leave it to you. Okay. Yeah? You okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's yeah. fine. It would have been too late to stop there. Was there anybody behind you? No. When it's safe to do so, could you get into the right hand lane, please? Yeah. Without slowing down. That's better. Good. And you're driving in the left as well. Yeah. Stay in your lane. Stay in that lane. Now move back to the left when it's safe. Back to left lane. Actually, stay in this one for now then. So, stay in the middle lane here, yeah? Yeah. Now, what I want you to do is after moving off at these lights, I want you to build up your speed first and then move over to the left. Okay. Last time you came into the right hand lane, you were still, your tire was still over the ten right, please. Not too much gas for the ten. That's you're not know, after driving at high speeds on dual carriageways. Yeah. Remember when you come back to the normal ro roads and the lower speed limits again? Yeah. Yeah. What's the speed limit here? Three. Good. Continue straight ahead. Okay. Because um, I just want to finish off with a um, right here at lights, yeah? What's the speed limit here? Three. What are we doing? 25. Well, you reach 25 now, but when I asked you, it was 20. Yeah. Okay. How do you think the cars behind are going to feel? Not too happy. That's it. That's it, that's a good speed now. So this 
crossroad may be slightly more challenging because it's on a hill as well. Yeah. Yeah. Where should you position me? You know? See, position was fine earlier because of the park vehicle here, yeah, but after yeah. you overtook. We're going right. Not yet. Keep going. We're going right. So this is a pedestrian crossing. We're going right at the traffic lights. Turning right here now with the lights. That's a really good stopping position. So remember, this is on a hill now. Yeah. As well, yeah. Then again, every crossroad you've been like, there's no one going like we haven't. Obviously, there were cars there this time, yeah, but they were turning that way, so again, it was yeah. a lot easier than last time, yeah. To be honest, when I done that, I weren't 100% sure if it was right. Yeah, see, that's yeah. What, 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 what were you sure about? I've, I realized, like, I don't know, when I first started doing it, I thought I was blocking the way, but that was going right, so yeah. really, I wasn't. Oh, okay, so. Didn't you notice they were turning right when you went forward? Nah, I did. I, I don't know. It's just because, I don't know, just because I was in front of them. I felt like I was blocking their way or something. Oh, okay, okay. Nah, that was fine what you did there. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, if, they were, if you didn't notice their signals, yeah, and you just did that, then that was wrong. Yeah. Yeah, but you said you did. So it's downhill. Do we need much gas? See, it's like if you're on a bike, it's gonna roll down faster, yeah. So you gotta control it with the brakes, like you're doing there, which is good. Okay, so this is gonna be the last turn of the lesson before we end the lesson. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see how good you do it, yeah. Okay, we'll rate you out of 10. Right. If you could take this first turning on the right. Wait, this is our last turn? Yeah, we need to turn right. Last turn of the lesson today. Oh, okay. How do you think you did that turn? How would you rate yourself out of 10 on that? Like a 7. Okay. What would you and rate it? Keep going. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to park, but just not yet. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, park up on the left. That's fine there. Okay. So the right ten, you said you'd uh, rate yourself seven out of ten. Yeah. Okay. Can't see your signal. Switch off the engine. So, why a 7, why not a 10? Because I, I don't want to rate myself 10. <laughs> okay, so... I, I think it was a good effort and it was... I don't really think I made any sort of mistake. Okay. Um, I'd probably give you a 6.5. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> why is that? Uh, um, so, you didn't notice anything wrong, yeah? Yeah. One, the main thing that you've been in on nearly um, every turn today. Positioning. No. What, like... Cut in the corner? No, you didn't cut the corner there. Speed? No. So, you know, on, on a few other turns today, yeah. Um, what have you been doing with the clutch? Oh, the clutch, yeah. I don't bring it back up. Yeah, but when should you bring it up? As soon as we're turning. No? As soon as we've, like, changed gear. That's it? There? Yeah. See, in your head, it's like, oh, I've got to do it when I turn. You need that engine control beforehand. So, as soon as you get second gear, bring that clutch up, then that means you're using second gear. Do you get marked down for that? Of course, that's coasting. Oh. But it's not about marked down, yeah. It's about, yeah. like, you know when the roads are, especially extra downhill, you'll feel the cards getting faster. Yeah? yeah. Can be even more dangerous in wet and icy conditions. Okay. So, make sure you you uh, you, uh, you bring that clutch up before. So, that was that was one thing. Yeah, we should drop a couple of marks. And the other thing, um, when I should turn right, yeah, what's the first thing you should do? Mirrors. Yeah, then? Signal. Good, then? Position. Yeah, position was fine. Then after that? Speed. Yeah, you, you then you're supposed to slow down. But as soon as you actually slow down, as you started checking your mirrors, your foot went on the brake straight away. 
Mm. Okay. Yeah. And we didn't have a signal at that point. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So again, there was no one behind you. If there was somebody behind you, would they be expecting you to break like that? It was only for a matter of a matter of couple of couple of seconds, but I want you to stick to that routine fully. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that was uh, that thing. So one thing you got to improve next lesson. Uh, the coasting. Um, yeah, coasting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dual carriageway. Dual carriageways. How did I'll, you find them? I found it good. I feel like they can't really be that complicated because. It's straight, 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 but really it would just be switching lanes. Yeah, switching lanes, it was like the like our, um, the time of the lesson as well today, yeah, okay? Uh, for those of you watching, we're obviously we're going to upload this on Sunday, but um, on Sunday, on Thursday, we're filming this on a Sunday late evening, yeah? The roads yeah. are quite quiet, yeah, okay? Which is which is good for the first time on um, dual carriageways, yeah? But can you imagine this at like, say, 5 o'clock on a weekday? Hmm. Yeah. It, do you think it's going to be that easy to change lanes? No. Yeah, and again, like, I'm going to put you into those kind of situations. Like, last time when we did crossroad, we were, we were doing a busier time, and we had lots of situations where we had to stop for the oncoming cars. Today, did we have to stop once for any oncoming car? No. no. So we couldn't really sort out that other issue that we wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, you know, your positioning one. So we'll have to, um, obviously... Uh, adding a few few more crossroads to whatever top you were going to do the next lesson yeah but yeah. dual carriageways like again like all the other um topics all the other lessons uh, yeah we say it's not about being perfect on them by the end of the lesson mm -hmm. it's about gaining the, the knowledge and understanding what to do which was our aim do you think we achieved that yeah good yeah and um yeah like i said uh keeping the clutch down and um getting your positioning Maintaining right a uh, traffic light control crossroads that's something that we're just gonna add on to next lesson. Yeah. Yeah. And next lesson, I think it's time to start roundabouts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unless there's something else you want to work on apart from these two things that we mentioned today, is there anything yeah. else you think is really weak? It's just these two, but I don't feel like they're. They are obviously not good things, but they're not like a major. Yeah. They're not gonna take the whole lesson up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like the so, coasting thing, I just know it's just a bad habit. Like I've just constantly like, always done that. Cool. So, um, yeah. You How are you going to get ready for the uh, next lesson? Uh, watch the roundabout videos and watch back on these as well. That's it. On the dual yeah. carriageway one. So, ultimate driving course, watch the roundabout videos, yeah. And um, that's it. Let's move on to roundabouts. It's like the exciting part now. After the roundabouts, I'm like, there's... The other topics don't take that long, yeah? And that's where I can be like, okay, I'm just going to hand it over to you. you know, we've covered everything. You know, you've got the knowledge. Obviously, you're not going to be perfect at everything, but then you're going to start giving everything a go. And that's where my workload is like, let's just sit back and watch, yeah, and then come in. Give yeah. you more responsibility. Okay? But yeah, we're going in the right di uh, direction and improving every lesson, which is what we want. Good? Yeah. Okay. Any questions? No, no questions. Cool. Guys, um, I hope you guys found that um, video useful. Like always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.